Did Milk Makeup actually launch dark skin friendly contour sticks? We want to know. If you are new to my channel, my name is Ohema. Welcome. If you are a returning subscriber, hey! In today's video, we are going to be taking a look at the brand new Milk Makeup, what is it called? Swipe Blend Go. That's not the name of it. That's just what's written on the PR box. Okay, so if you didn't know, or if you've been living on a rock, Milk Makeup has launched new skin sticks and it has contour. It looks like they have contours, they have blushes, and they have highlighters, if I'm not mistaken. Then again, Milk Makeup has always had something in the shape of this in a highlighter form except these are very small compared to their initial bigger fatter one we were lucky enough to have milk makeup send us i feel like this is an entire collection of it these are the bronzer contour situation these are the blush situations and these are the highlighter situation everything i'm going to be using is going to be tagged under this view products tag tap it it's going to pull up a list of the products that i'm going to be using today youtube has actually done all the comparison for you so you really don't have to bother with trying to figure out the best pricing so let's go ahead and jump into these skin sticks because i want to know if they're going to be dark skin friendly i want to know how deep they go i want to know how well they blend on bare skin and i also want to know how well they blend when my face is a beat for the gods okay, okay let's so go ahead according jump. to this card that came in the box we have the new sculpt stick and then of course they included their matte bronze their lip and cheek and also their highlighter what i'm actually mostly interested in is their sculpt stick that's what we're going to be trying out today okay because we want to know if a brand straight out of the gate has actually gotten a contour shade right for dark skin like i'm very interested in that because usually they launch the products and then they say oh we're gonna come back with the shade extension did milk makeup actually launch dark skin friendly contour sticks we want to know so let's see what we see. On this card, there are four shades. of the Sizzle, Simmer, Stoked, and Toast. Okay, hashtag Sculpstick. Um, it says that to find your perfect contour shade, suck in your cheek, see the shadow it creates. That's the color you want to match to. So if I do this, whatever that color is, I... Mm, milk makeup, I feel like you tried, but this doesn't apply to anybody or everybody because... <gasps> It doesn't work. Apply wherever shadows naturally fall along your face, temples, hollows of your cheeks, and along your jawline. Blend never down. That'll keep your face looking lifted. So I'm going to go ahead and swatch Sizzle, Simmer, Stoked, and Toast. I'm only going to swatch Sizzle and Shimmer, not Stoked and Toast, because it's just not going to work. This is what it looks like. It's very little. So the packaging tells you the name of the product right at the top of it. I am interested in seeing what this looks like. It comes with a little cover at the top now i can't take it off let's see how much products we get with this fat stick she's thick she's a little thicky it is beautiful i just want to see what it looks like on first we're going to swatch it and then we're going to do like a full face situation and then we're going to apply it over our foundation sometimes something will look good on bare skin but it wouldn't look good on a full face and sometimes it wouldn't show up on my bare skin because it's nice and deep and rich and chocolatey but then it will show up on my makeup skin because my makeup skin somehow some way ends up looking a little bit lighter than what i started out with okay milk makeup let's see what sizzle is about let's swatch sizzle Okay, Milk. We see what you're putting down. I have hope. I really have hope that this will actually look really good on makeup or at least once I blend it out because a lot of brands, a lot of brands don't start out this deep. A lot of brands start out with the next shade that I'm about to show you and call it a deep contour shade, okay? This is the shade Simmer and Simmer is the second lighter shade that they offer this is a concealer shade for me this is a contour shade for me i haven't even blended it in yet and i am impressed already okay this is gorgeous listen okay listen it's gonna have the girl snatch dark skin girls if you were trying to find a mainstream brand that provided you contour 
Okay, if you're trying to find a mainstream brand that gave you contour, it kind of just disappeared into my skin. But did, did, did it give me like a natural skin, subtle kind of contour? Contour said, girl, I could be your foundation shade. Charlotte Tilbury, Magic Cream, Laura Mercier, Pure Canvas in a blurring skin. The NYX Blurring Tint Foundation Concealer. We're gonna set with some translucent powder. Okay, so the moment of truth. Okay, we're gonna go in with the, <laughs> we're gonna go in with the contour. You saw how it disappeared into my cheek when I blended it in the first time. Okay, so we're going in with the shade Sizzle and we're going to try to sizzle exactly where we're supposed to contour. Now, it looks really nice, like just, swatched on the skin but what does it look like once it's blended in that's like that's the question right okay 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 it looks good this is actually a contour shade that we can use like i said before a lot of brands right out of the gate do not launch bl uh, contour sticks like this shade, like they just don't do that for us. And I don't know why. It's not like we can't use it. It's not like we don't want it. We just never get it, you know? And we end up using like dark eyeshadows and, and other things that were actually not made to be used as contours on our face. I mean, of course we get it from the indie brands like Omolewa and Juvia's Place because those brands are from black African women and they know what the shade is supposed to look like. And they give it to us before like a mainstream brand to give us contour shades straight out of the gate looking like this honey we are here for it but this is what it looks like it's blended very nicely into the skin it's given shadows it's not taken over anything and i can actually also go ahead and you know just cut this contour to just make it crisper just to give the cheekbone some definition okay it looks really really good this is what it looks like blended in this is what it looks like without the contour this is my face with the contour all i can say is milk makeup did not come to play with us they did well they they, they have done well like i did not expect it to look this good of course I saw the picture, but you know, who trusts brand pictures these days? Like, I don't think anybody trusts brand, pic brand pictures these days, especially when it comes to like what a product is supposed to look like. If you're somebody who is my shade or deeper, you can definitely use this. It looks like it's buildable because you can put as little as you want or as much as you want. It goes on very creamy and it blends in very nicely. You can also just uh, matte it down with some translucent powder. Like, I'm gonna put some on my nose as contour i'm also gonna put some on my eyes because i'm i'm being very lazy i'm doing lazy girl makeup today the only issue that i'm seeing with the contour is that it's very creamy and it doesn't seem to be like turning matte especially somebody who has oily skin i'm definitely gonna have to go in with some kind of a powder to matte it down i'm actually putting contour powder over it it's a beautiful shade it's a nice deep shade and it gives a beautiful beautiful glow it does but it makes my face look like this like this part of my face is very glowy and the rest of my face is very matte editing ohima here and after looking at this video while i'm editing it i feel like this is more along the lines of bronzer and not contour because of how it looks once i put an actual contour shade over it let me know what you think i'm gonna go over it with some translucent powder only because we're doing a test but i feel like on a wear day i will probably be going over it with like another contour powder something to set it so that it stays longer because i do have oily skin and i don't want this product to just melt off my face hopefully milk will actually come out with a matte contour stick okay so this is what my skin is looking like with a contour from milk makeup i am here for it if you are on the fence about this product go and get it if you don't have a contour shade that you like go and get this if you're somebody who has dry skin and you don't like powder contours because of what they look like on your skin go and get it i just dropped it but go and get it okay if you're looking for alternatives to the contour stick especially ones that are powder or matte check these two videos out thank you guys so much for watching i love you lots and i'll see you in my next video Bye.